welcome to the Daddy Club, John. Yeah, yeah, welcome to Daddy Club. <laughs> Best thing in life. Yep. Right. <laughs> and did you think it made you all of a sudden that much more motivated when you had kids? Nope. And I had to stay more focused, stay in the hospital, you know, drinking two gallons of water in the, in the hospital room, not sleeping in my own bed, you know. And then finally the baby came, I didn't get a chance just to dip out. I stayed there in the hospital overnight, waking up at 2 o'clock. The four o'clock, the center pocket. I mean, like it's an extra either pressure or different things like that that you're like, oh man, I actually have to provide for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And can I? And what happens if I don't? <laughs> and if you're thinking about that so much, instead of thinking about what you need to do in your fight, then you'll be focused the right way. The world championship level, you shouldn't need something else for motivation. Were you, were you not going to be a world champion before? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I feel like I'm a princess. I'm meant for this, and I can feel it, and I'm meant to win this fight, and it's just like an overwhelming feeling that you're all of a sudden in right where you need to be, and everything's just working out, and I I'm meant to win this fight, and I I'm ready. Clean pair of sneaks yeah. with a designer belt. Oh, designer belt. Designer belt. Please watch your step. I need space. I need the music. Right. Right. You got it. No, we're right, gonna do it. One. We're gonna do it. Rich man seats with the D's on the belt. Please watch your step, cause I'm feeling myself. Put the flag on the way. Make somebody get some help. Make somebody get some help. Pull up on the quad. Get the quad. Get the quad. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. It was a good pre-workout. It was a good pre-workout. Yes! Yes! Perfect! I went to college when I was 16 on an academic scholarship. So I definitely think that it helps with fighting. It helps you be able to size up your opponents and uh, especially, I mean, I look at Alex Chambers and she has a degree in astrophysics. So that, that's something to take into account. She's smart. I'm not fighting a dumb uh, fighter. If you mount this girl, you can finish her here, Paige. You know that. I'm just so calm going into fights. And I don't put that pressure on myself. Because I'm not going to worry about, like, what's going to happen if I lose. And you start thinking of the negative, negative, negative. I just try to be positive about it. You know what? I'm going to yes. go in there. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to win. And if I don't, then we'll go from there. Oh, my God. I haven't faced a striker like him in a long time. So uh, it's more interesting to me than all the rest of the fights I've had. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's an exciting fight no matter what. The fans want to see it. I'm looking forward to the challenge with uh, Jimmy, and uh, I'm sure he is too. So when you have two fighters that are just excited about a fight, that's just fireworks waiting to happen. Have you got like a healthy kind of salad? Our fresh vegetables, it comes with red and yellow peppers, so zucchini, Did you have, oh. um, carrots, and also Brussels sprouts. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it is very good. Oh, okay. Do you also have complimentary biscuits? Would you like some of those? Uh, Dina I would love, love some yeah, biscuits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, biscuits are biscuit, no? Yeah. Yeah. Something you put in, like you dip in your tea, like a digestive biscuit. Yeah. Just bread. Uh -huh. We got done. No, Rick, come on, we're both had some, have you? Nah, that's right. right. <laughs> Ten times better than a bit English biscuit. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> when you're asking me why aren't you sprinting at the end of your run, <laughs> the heart rate's like 220. He's like, why aren't you sprinting? And he's telling me to eat the bread. <laughs> we're here in Vegas. We're fighting one of the best fighters in the world. He's going to look towards his wrestling to try and take Jimmy down. We know this. That's what they're doing. You know, here throw, here throw big, then they look to take him down. We're ecstatic, you know, that we've got this opportunity. We're going to bring it. You see all these great names on, on the wall. John Jones, Forrest, uh, Rafael de Santos was there and everything. So, um, you know, it feels great to put my name down and uh, join the wall of fame. I put in there John Jones and uh, Conor McGregor. They're the two greats. I like. Yeah. I think um, I mean as great as them. So Even greater. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's years of tagging on the buses. <laughs> there you go, baseball ready. My youngest is uh, Ronan. He's six. We're here at his uh, baseball game. Go get it! Go get it! Pick it up! Let's go! It's fun to kind of watch. You know the kids. If they can throw the ball and one of them catches it, hits you. I know. Just relax. What is he doing? Ronan! 
Oh, 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 You know, he's coming to the game, so he doesn't get to miss him, but he's kind of already in fight mode. Come on, Ronan! It's really hard to be both, you know, to be the beast and then to be soft daddy. And, so I don't know. Anybody that can coach kids at this age, like the expression of like hurting cats, <laughs> I guess what it is. <laughs> help you let me know just tag me in you and your big 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 very big kick get some <laughs> John and Andre have a great relationship they're always teasing each other it's a, our biggest guy and our smallest guy they're best friends and they hang out and give each other trouble all the time it's hilarious to watch but uh, yeah they have a genuine affection for each other Andre's a big prankster and little John's always laughing and making everybody happy so their spirits are the same <laughs> I think I'm gonna shit again. <laughs> <laughs>